Bring you now a heartbreaking story from overseas. CCTV footage showing the last moments Avo Otieno suffered before his death has been released to the public. A 28-year-old Kenyan man living in the United States was killed by police officers while in custody. His family says he suffered from bipolar disorder, which they say was mishandled and mistreated by those in authority. NTV's is Nginaki that sad story. Ivo Otieno, who is suffering a bipolar episode, is seen through a window at the door of a cell he is being held in. Otieno appears to be asking for help from officers who are outside. He had plucked a neighbor's porch light during his bipolar episode, warranting the neighbor to call the police, who arrested him, despite his mother pleading with them to grant him medical assistance instead. Within a few minutes, they open Otieno's cell and force him onto the ground, which is soiled. They then drag him outside to the parking lot, where they pull him from one car to another. But things get even more disturbing when they take him to this room, where they proceed to toss him onto a chair before dragging him onto the ground and pinning him down using their knees, crushing him under their collective weight on his neck and other parts of his body. Later, they realize Otieno is unresponsive and they begin administering CPR to him. But it's too late. Otieno is dead. At what point do we consider mental illness a crime? Hmm. Can someone explain to me why my brother is not here? Seven officers on one man. And all this started when my son went to hospital on the third. Seven deputy officers from Henrico County Sheriff's Office have been indicted on one count of second-degree murder each. The family laments that even when the police officers realized Otieno was dead, they waited for hours before notifying the authorities. Gena Kirori, NTV.